Hey gang, I am here in my old stomping grounds back in Milwaukee, Oregon. We're on Oatkin Drive right now, which is where my house was. And a few of my friends, uh, Todd Fitzke and Mike Briggs, and I'll go ahead and show you their place and tell you a couple stories and stuff. But yeah, we're just going around today. I'm gonna show you where I grew up and uh, relive some memories and have some fun. And this is my house. This is where I grew up from age three until about 15 years old, I believe. This, this was wonderful. I mean, when, when you're little, everything around you is like your own world. There's nothing much out there because everything's so big. If you go around back, which we won't, I don't think they like that. Uh, my dad actually took a telephone pole and had it carted over and built it up into a, like a tree house for us. And uh, down around the stone uh, where there's cement, we have our handprints in there. And this house right across the street here, uh, there was a kid who lived there that for some reason me and my friends took the instant dislike to. We're kids, so you know, that's what kids do. They're mean, they're cruel. Anyway, we would take uh, eggs and other mixtures in our in my refrigerator you know we take like old Chinese food cartons and all kinds of stuff and sauces and we pour them all together into this mixture that was just totally disgusting and we would throw this at this kid's house and I know we were real mean but like I said that's what kids do you did it too you know you did this right over here is Stacy Pedersen's house. Uh, she used to be a girl that go to went to my grade school, View Acres, and we were all friends along here. And this right over here is Todd Fitzke's house, and Mike Fitzke, his brother. Now Todd was a good friend. Mike, on the other hand, was his older brother, and Mike used to like to pick on us. Mike and Scott Briggs, Mike Briggs' older brother, they used to get together and pick on us all the time. This right here is Mike Briggs' house. Now, Mike was was a good friend. He still is. He's on uh, Facebook, and we're friends on Facebook. Mike used to be our local dungeon master for local D&D &D games. We used to go over and play Dungeons & Dragons at Mike's house every weekend, me and, and some of the other kids in the neighborhood. And I mean, we would do marathons of hours and hours of D&D. &D. And, and Mike was great. And I always wondered, how, how do you know all this stuff? Because you know, if you've ever played D&D, &D, if you still do, you know that those books are like majorly thick. They're like catalogs. And he had all this stuff in his head. Brilliant guy. One thing with Mike is he was a major Star Wars fan and I was a Trekkie. So we would clash on this stuff. He also was a big Disney fanatic like I was. And one thing that he said growing up is, one day I am gonna work for Disney. He works down at Disney World. I mean, he saw that dream through and he does uh, a lot of theatrical presentation so he's actually on stage doing um, doing all kinds of good stuff entertaining people down at Disney World which is very cool I'll tell you a story about Scott Briggs Mike's older brother Scott was taking karate lessons he, he loved that kind of martial arts stuff and one day he's chasing Mike Briggs and I down the hall, around the house, down the stairs, everywhere. Now, as we come straight down the hallway into Mike's room, there's a, um, a thermostat on the wall. And Scott's running after us, and all of a sudden he throws this massive karate kick, and he connects with the frigging third thermostat, and this thing goes, boom! <laughs> he didn't do that anymore. All right, this is Oatkin Road Hill. I mean, this was a death trap. We used to go down this thing on our bikes and on our skateboards, and it it was nuts. I mean, you do nutty, crazy things when you're a kid, and this was definitely some of the nuttiest and craziest stuff. Nobody ever died, but I'm telling you, we came doggone close. And I'm standing in front of my elementary school, View Acres Elementary, uh, first through sixth grade. I want to give a big shout out to my fellow classmates and Facebook friends, Michelle Dalton, Sean Brannon. Uh, yeah, we, we used to hang out here and we grew up here together and played here together on the playground. Sean Brannon was a close friend of mine who used to live right behind the school even. So we used to come up here during the afternoons on non-school hours and used to play out on the playground. Big thing around here was dodgeball and kickball. Um, yeah, but 
few acres. Very cool school. My sixth grade teacher, Miss Alice Hartness, who is also a Facebook friend of mine, I had the biggest crush on Miss Hartness. I mean, who doesn't have a crush on one of their teachers in elementary school, really? As the memories flood back, one thing that uh, just really stands out is uh, the films we used to watch, all the old educational films, and we used to bring in a TV like a couple times a week, and some of the programs we would watch was uh, The Electric Company, and another one was called Inside Out. It was on OPB and uh, just taught lessons and, and good values and told stories. So, um, anybody remember Inside Out? This used to be Thiessen Road store. This was a regular haunt that we used to, all the kids used to bike down and walk down to, and we'd come down here and get candy and everything. But uh, as you can see, it's no longer Thiessen Road store. I hate it when they take away our memories as kids. We have memories of certain things in certain places, and then they change the name or the, the they close down the place. Any way you look at it, it's just a little part of our childhood that's been squashed. Sad. I'm standing out front of Rex Putnam High School, which was my first high school. I did my junior high school at John McLaughlin Junior High School and then went on to the four-year high school of Rex Putnam. I loved it here. School spirit was awesome. And of course, being your first high school, you're even though you're low man on the totem pole, you're still a little fish in a big pond, so you're with the big kids. Now, when my dad and mom got divorced, I moved with my dad out to Tualatin. My high school there was Tigard High, graduated in 1982. Tigard High is a three-year high school. So when I went back and they moved me out there, I was no longer high school material. I had to go back to junior high. I was so pissed off at my dad for so long. I think i never forgiven him and I'm still going through therapy. What are you gonna do? Life sucks. This right here used to be the Super 99 drive-in. Um, missed that thing. It was fun going to a drive-in. Pull your car in and put the speaker on there and, and watch a couple movies, watch a double feature and stuff. It's kind of sad that drive-ins have gone the way of so much other good old-fashioned clean stuff but yeah that used to be where it was standing at the bomber gas station and restaurant back in the 70s when I remember it it wasn't a restaurant it was just a gas station and uh, it's just off McLaughlin Boulevard here my dad uh, would pull in here and get gas all the time and it's kind of like a memory piece never really uh, Never really something spectacular, but just the fact that they had a, a big old plane sitting right here. It's kind of cool to a little kid like me. There's my little tour of my old stomping grounds where I grew up. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. Talk to you later. Bye.